Jet Rose for Thomas Bikino, NOLA.com at Doyle High School with Coach Tim Beatty of the, the Tigers who made it back to the state tournament for the first time in a few years. Uh, your third year over here, obviously a, a big year for the program, a number one seed in Class 2A That's right. and reaching the state semifinals. I guess starting off kind of vaguely, um, how, how big of a year was this for this program because it's the best in, in quite a while? Well, we knew after we had a great year last year and we, our expectations were really big this year. And, uh, you know, we beefed up the schedule a lot and we wanted to go out and, you know, kind of play the best. And, and we knew if we could compete with the best, we had a good shot to, you know, making it far in the playoffs. And, and it paid dividends, you know, beefing up the schedule. We talked, I guess, at the beginning of the playoffs that this, this was an, a goal to have this type of a season. And we were talking a minute ago that, that this was a year that even yeah. when you got here, you thought that, that this year could be special. I knew it was going to be special because um, I had a good group of sophomores, which, you know, three years ago when I became the head coach. And, uh, you, know, the, the, you know, they grew up playing together. They had a good team chemistry. And so I knew that their senior year, if not their junior year last year, was going to be special. But, you know, it just happened that it was their senior year. It was a really special year together. And, and uh, you know, we had seven seniors. And, 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 you know, we threw strikes and just went out there and got it done. And, I mean, at the end of all these seasons when I talk to, to each coach, whether it be baseball, softball, basketball, whatever, um, talent obviously plays a big role. Yeah. And you saw some of that coming. But what, I guess, what were maybe some of the biggest – whether it be this year or in the time you've been here, challenges or obstacles in terms of getting them to reach that potential or realize they could they could be as good as? Well, I think, you know, our biggest thing was um, overcoming a few obstacles as far as, you know, I think I knew they were a special group, but they didn't realize it. And I think this year just kind of clicked, uh, you know, they saw that, hey, we got something special. Uh, you know, hey, if we can just stick together, if we can, you know, uh, pull for each other and you know it doesn't matter who's out there whoever gets the job done uh, and that was the biggest thing I thought you know their sophomore and their junior year and talking about the seniors that uh, that I saw it this year that it didn't matter who got the job done nobody it didn't matter you know they, they were a full team and you know over the my coaching 17 years of coaching I've had a lot better players but this was probably one of my best teams to ever coach was were there any things that, that you guys did as coaches to specifically help them realize that or any, any, I guess, ways of talking to them or, or kind of hammering it in or, or were there a, was there a point where you saw it from them that it kind of clicked that, okay, they, they kind of get it now? I, in fall workouts, uh, my pitching coach, Matt Stilley, who does a great job with the pitchers, and, you know, name of the game is pitching in baseball. And, uh, you know, just some of the routines that he put them through in the fall, you know, and even last summer, uh, you know, it really paid off. Um, you know, I guess when, 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 we challenged them early in the year. We played in a 5A tournament, and we were playing Covington. And, uh, you know, I can kind of see it kind of clicking. You know, one, we lost earlier to a slide L team by, you know, by a walk-off uh, hit batter. So it was a team game we could have won. And then when, when they didn't let that bother them, you know, we came back out and beat Covington that night. I, I thought, you know, this is going to be a special, special year, and, and, uh, and it was. Uh, I guess... We, we talked some about how important pitching was and, and just the seniors. What's, what else stands out? Or, I mean, if, if those are the things that stand out as much as anything in terms of the – talk about how special the team is, just the personality of it or, or the group. Yeah, I mean, you know, we had a uh, – you know, pitching carried us. And, and pitching and defense really carried us all year. And, that, and, you know, that's been our key to success. And I preach to them, you know, hey, let's just score four runs. Uh, you know, we're going you know, to pitch great and we're going to play great defense. And – and, you know, just the team chemistry of the guys, uh, you know, pulling for each other and rooting for each other and, and never getting down on each other and never giving up. I mean, we never give up. And, we, like I said, we won, um, I think we were 10-1 and one in one-run games. So that shows a lot of character that we were definitely battle-tested. And, and, you know, and I think that's what got us as far as it did in the playoffs because even when we got down in, in the second round against Catholic New Iberia, we didn't, we didn't panic, you know, and we stayed focused. And then, you know, we even got down – Early against uh, uh, Sterlington in the in the quarters, and you know we didn't panic or nothing. We just kind of stayed true with what we'd done, and it worked. How how excited did whether the the players, the the school community, the area community, families, and all that get during the course of that run? Uh, yeah, that's all everybody want to talk about. <laughs> really, I mean, at school, you know, there wasn't. Well, I'm not going to say wasn't a lot of learning going on, but man, every time you <laughs> pass kids in the hallway, especially the baseball players, that's you know that was the talk. You know, hey, y'all going to get them today. You're going to win today, and 
and, and you know, even when I'd go up the road to eat somewhere and stuff like that, people were just real excited and congratulate me on a good year and congratulating us on a good year. And, and so, yeah, it was fun, real fun. During, I guess, I mean, the last three years, y'all have made this progress. Uh, Coach DeSell and company with the softball program have yeah. made some progress, which by the time this is online, yeah. people will know she's the, the coach of the year for the small That's school right. softball. Um, how cool has that been to see the two programs take those steps? Yeah. Alongside well, I mean, I got to, you know, off, uh, you know, give a lot of uh, thanks to our uh, administration. You know, they support us a whole bunch and, you know, they allow us to kind of get kids out of class if we got to leave early for games and, you know, just whatever we need for the field. If we need extra this or extra that, you know, they allow us. And so, uh, you know, watching it kind of grow and, and uh, take off like that is pretty cool. Uh, and I, I don't see it stopping here. I mean, we're going to keep yeah. on going, you know. Uh, I got good players coming back. She's got good players coming back. And I, I think we're just kind of scratching the surface of, you know, being in that show, kind of like being with the park views and the guys that's always in there all the time. You know, it's like I want teams to look up and say, oh, great, we get Doyle, you know. And, and I think that's the kind of direction our programs or both programs are going in right now. Yeah, you kind of let in. I was going to – my last question for you is going to be about the future. Obviously, you think yeah. bigger things can still still be ahead even with that, yeah, that's that right. senior group leaving. How big was it to, for those guys to have success and kind of start to set yeah. some, some of a trend, I guess? Or yeah, well, I, you know, and that's one thing uh, when I was at Walker. Um, you know, I, I always said that, you know, I don't want to be the last senior. You know, who's the senior class not going to make the playoffs? And now I want that same attitude here. You know, and so it's going to be a big thing when you get to be a senior. You want to make sure you're in the playoffs because, uh, you know, you don't want to be that group of seniors that didn't make it. And so I think that's definitely the direction we're going in. And, uh, you know, I'm fired up with our younger kids. we got a great group of freshmen. Uh, I called up a couple this year to kind of experience the whole thing. And, uh, and I think that group, you know, I think we're going to be just as strong next year. You know, of course, you got to be you get the breaks and got to be lucky. you got to win a lot, a lot of close games. But... Uh, there's a good chance we can make another run. You know, it's all about getting in the playoffs, and then you never know what might happen when you make the playoffs. There you go. Coach Tim Beatty at Doyle High School, our all Baton Rouge area, small schools baseball coach of the year. For timespeakingandnoll.com, Jared Roser. Thanks for being here. That's it.